Hello my lovelies, it's Helen here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to do a full set of stiletto nails and they're pretty long and dangerously sharp. But what I'm excited about is this airbrush kit from Young Nails. Um, I used to have one many moons ago and it was the old school one with a huge compressor and this is just, it just fits in your hand and you can go ahead and spray air, um, airbrush your design on. It's like super compact and super easy to use. So uh, to, before I do that, I'm actually sticking on tips and these tips are from Glitter Planet and they're the pre-pinched stiletto tips. So I've just glued them onto the nail and now I'm using my e-file and sanding band to sort of remove the shiny surface of the tip and blend in where the smile line is and get rid of that little lip that's there. And once that is done, I am going to start with my acrylic application. Okay, and as always, whenever I do coloured acrylic work, I always like to put down a thin layer of clear acrylic on the natural nail plate. So the colours which I'll be using today are going to be airbrushed on but the base of the nails I want to do a nude coloured acrylic. So I'm using this nude cover pink from mm, Pink Diva Nail Supply and it's got a, the smallest amount of glitter in it and it looks so subtle and cute, I really do like it. And because today, that day that I was doing these nails it was really hot, my beads were just drying up really quick. So I had to break it up into a few sections, which it doesn't bother me. You're far better off breaking up the acrylic application into smaller sections if you're finding it hard applying it in one huge bead. So that way I find you can perfect the shape better. Uh, and I mean, look, there's no rush. Clients want perfect nails. So if you end up breaking it up into three sections and it takes you a little bit longer, it's no big deal. The nails are going to be look perfect. And all that means is there's going to be less filing in the end. And who on earth doesn't want to file less? So I'm going to continue with the rest of the nails doing exactly the same thing. They're all just going to have a nude base of acrylic. And like I said, it's, it's a really hot day and my acrylic is drying up really quick. So with the rest of the nails, I do end up breaking it into smaller sections. And once I complete the acrylic work, I will move on to the next step. I'm only going to show you this nail and then I will jump forward to my finished filing. As I finish up with all the acrylic work on all the nails and the acrylic has hardened, I then move on to finish filing the surface of the nail. But first I use my um, hand file and uh, I shape the free edge. And because these nails are long stilettos, I like to use the hand file to perfect the free edge of the stiletto tip. And when it, I'm happy with it, then I swap over to my sanding band and e-file and then I perfect the cuticle part of the nail making sure to go over the entire nail also um, even though I did use the hand file for the tip before I get into the fun airbrushing stuff I'm going to sand block over the entire surface of all the nails this just gives me a nice smooth surface for the airbrush to lay on I get rid of the dust and now I am going to apply the, I think it's like acrylic paint. I'm going to put it into the well here. You don't need much because a little goes a long way. And the machine is turned on and then I pull the little trigger backwards, aim where I want the, the colour to go and then I start spraying. It is that easy. The good thing with airbrushing is the paint comes out super fine so you can build up the colour to the intensity that you want. 
And if you don't want colour to spray out onto the nail, you just hold the little nozzle down and only air comes out. So you can actually dry the colour in between each layer of application. And to change in between colours, you just fill the well up with water and spray it out. You can see here it's coming out clear. Fill it up with my second colour of choice and then complete the remaining nails with my hot pink colour that um, I've chosen. Also, if you do enjoy my videos and don't want to miss as I upload them, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and that way you'll get notified whenever I put out a video. Now moving on to the um, animal print part of this design. So I'm just using black gel polish and a dotting tool and then just basically doing little semicircles facing each other. Not semi, yeah, semicircles facing each other. And I cure that. And then I move on to the zebra or tiger print. And I need to swap over to a liner brush to do that. And all I do is basically draw lines in the direction which I want them to go <laughs> and making sure the lines taper off into a nice fine point at the either ends. Once all the um, black gel art is on all the nails, I'm going to cure them in my LED light for a full minute. Once they're cured, then I need to apply top coat. So I'm using Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat and I'm painting one coat on all the nails. And when that's done, I'm going to cure them for a final time in my LED light for a whole minute. And once I've cured the top coat, then I can come back with some acetone and a little wipe and remove all the acrylic paint that's built up around the cuticle. The top coat is keeping the design safe from coming off and then I just remove it from around the skin and then these nails are ready for reveal. And here is the completed look my lovelies. What do you think of it? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this set. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos I may put out. So that's all I have for you today, my lovelies. But in the meantime, if you would like to watch another video, YouTube recommends this one for you. Well, I recommend this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you all next time. Bye.